there are only 12 fundamental particles that comprise the visible universe. We can break down these particles into two main groups, quarks and leptons. All of these particles are considered to be fundamental, meaning that they are whole, not made of any other particles, and there are no internal parts or components within them. So how does this relate back to common matter in our world? All matter is made of atoms. Originally, atoms were thought to be the smallest indivisible unit of matter, but it was discovered that they are not fundamental at all. They have an internal structure made of a core nucleus consisting of protons and neutrons, as well as surrounding orbitals of electrons. The electron is a fundamental particle. However, notice that protons and neutrons are not part of our list of fundamental particles. This is because it was also discovered that protons and neutrons are themselves not fundamental, but in fact have internal structures. Those structures consist of quarks. The proton is made of two up quarks and one down quark. The neutron is made of one up quark and two down quarks. It is the quarks that are fundamental. Historically, it was also assumed that electrons and protons carried fundamental charges of minus one and plus one respectively. Here, we mean that the charges are actually multiples of the basic charge unit of the proton, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. It is easy to find out that actually, quarks have fundamental charges of the up quark being two-thirds of a charge, and the down quark being minus one-third of a charge. We also have the additional fundamental charges of minus one from the electron particle, which itself is fundamental. This makes three basic charges in total, two-thirds, minus one-third, and minus one. Interestingly, this means that neutrons carry charge within them. However, the charges of the quarks in the neutron particle, when summed, result in a total charge of zero. Yet, when you probe deeply into the neutron, the charges reveal themselves.